right, so I'm here with Jurgen, the second half of Stores and Bickle. Um, thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's your new building. You're very welcome. Yeah. So do you mind telling me a little bit about your history with the company? Yes, of course. Yeah. Um, of course, I come, came in a little bit later uh, in the company. It was first started by Marcus yeah, and, uh, in 2000. At that time, uh, we already knew each other. And at that time, I quit uh, smoking cigarettes. Yeah, so uh, then I became one of the first clients of the company. Yeah, so I bought uh, two volcanoes from the first series. Okay. Yeah, I, at this time I was working in, in South America in a development project. And I took the vol volcano with me to Peru and had uh, like a year and something to, to get convinced. Yeah. <laughs> And then my uh, my time in Peru was over. I came back here, and of course I knew the product. And Marcus was still working alone, and I first helped him out a little bit on a trade show, and and then we get uh, more familiar, more together, and uh, then we started to get into a partnership. Yeah, this was in 2001, at the end of 2001. Then we became 50/50 uh, uh, partners. And uh, yeah, so from 2002 on, then it was named Stores and Pickle. The beginning name was uh, Vapormat, yeah, but then it was renamed to Stores and Pickle. Yeah, we wanted um, to show that uh, we are really behind this company, that they are two real persons. It's not uh, an anonymous company. At that time, many companies, they prefer to be anonymous. Yeah. Make, up, make up their own name. Yeah, 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 exactly. So we uh, showed up our face, we showed up at that time already our company, where we are. So this was uh, from the very beginning part of the philosophy, to stand behind the product as a person and, and uh, yeah, to show your face and to show your address and to be transparent and if any customer uh, should have a problem, uh, to be always there and ready to answer. Well, that's amazing. I, you know, Marcus is telling me that you guys don't even have any investors. It's just you two, fifty-fifty, and that's the yeah, 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 yeah. The company. Yeah, yeah. The the price of my fifty percent was uh, all the money I had. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so okay, there was uh, nothing to uh, get, to get in. Oh, there was also nobody interested at that time. Yeah, right. at that time it was uh, Marcus. He went to shows. He tried to get investors, but nobody wanted to invest in such a thing. But now, you know, here you are. This is the, the third location. Exactly, the third location, yeah. Uh, the very, oh, this is the fourth location. Uh, the first one was at Marcus' home at his cellar. The second oh, one right. was in the Ehrenberg uh, Straße. Then we moved Rote Straße and now here. Okay. Yeah, so we had constant uh, good development, yeah. A constant uh, growing, yeah. And at sometimes fast growing, then with a lot, sometimes a little bit moderate, but uh, always growing until today. So and this is only half of the project, right? I, I noticed there's a model in your lobby that has another wing on it. Is that a potential expansion in the future? Yeah, exactly. Um, we first, of course, we we said if we build uh, uh, in, in one place, we need uh, we need space to expand. We don't want to move out here in a few years uh, or maybe two years again and uh, looking for a, a new no. place. So when we started the project from the beginning, it was clear it need to be divided into in two parts. Yeah, we built the first part and the second part maybe will come soon. Okay. And what, what's the what's the idea behind the entire open concept? Like I've met a lot of your staff, and everyone seems really friendly, but they could all see each other, from, no matter where you are. Yeah, we had uh, in the in the last building, we had a very complicated. Uh, uh, infrastructure, let's say, in two buildings. It was a triangle geometry. And many people you didn't even saw for a few weeks uh, if you didn't really went to the, to the last corner. So we wanted to have it really open, uh, open space and, and really transparent. And we also wanted uh, to have uh, the production included in this transparency. 
Yeah, a lot of times the production is something what is what is on the side. So we wanted to see that everybody uh, here, also from from the office space, from the development department, uh, has a, a look to it and sees that uh, what we are doing. You know, you, you only can sell something if it is first produced. Yeah, and all what you develop needs to be produced from somebody. Yeah, so it was important to get this uh, integration of the uh, of the company and to get the understanding from everybody we, that we need really every person who is working here. It doesn't matter if it is somebody who is maybe learning a job and has a very very simple task and maybe somebody else has a very complicated task uh, and is a development engineer. Whoever uh, uh, you have inside uh, is an important uh, part to have the success you, you want to have at the end. Right. And you, you, how many staff do you have here right now? We have about 100 people at the moment. Yeah. It's a very big building and it's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah it's a big yeah. building. We have about 5,000 square meters here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so but we are also um, almost full, at least for this production goes. Also logistics, uh, there's a little space uh, left, office, a little bit space left. So we can grow a little bit, a little bit more. 20-30%, yeah, no problem. That's yeah, awesome. but if you really go much more, much higher, if you make it like the last two years and double uh, sales and uh, stuff and uh, production, yeah, then... You need to keep then growing it's, uh, with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We already are in the moment uh, planning uh, uh, the new parking lot, yeah, at the, at the opposite side of the street. Okay. Yeah, this week we made the first contract to it, yeah. But this is something we need to build first. Mm -hmm. So we have, uh, again, parking space and then we can uh, build the second part of the building. Because it's going where the park current parking space is. Exactly. This was only a temporary parking uh, space. So, so we are doing the first small step in direction of the second part of the building. Now, your products are referred to as the gold standard in the uh, vaporizer um, market and your building really reflects that but where where did that name come from initially well i think quality was uh, was always uh, uh, important to us yeah of course uh, um, our products need to have uh, a good quality. We are uh, producing and working in Germany. This is not the cheapest uh, place where you can produce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you need to have a little bit uh, better quality, uh, like maybe somebody in Chinese in China can have. Yeah. Also, before I told about the philosophy that we want to stand behind the product and show our face behind, so so we are, don't want to sell something who is not really good in functionality and in quality. And of course this then translates to everything you are doing. You know, you want to have everything in a well, uh, well place. It doesn't matter if it's your development department, your purchase department, or whatever you do, or if you do a building. You want to do things right, you want to have a high quality, you want to have the things long lasting. Yeah, this is, and this goes like a red line through all activities, yeah. And uh, today this is like internalized, uh, uh, Marcus and me uh, since a longer time, and, and everybody who is working with us uh, as well. This is the this is the line where we go. Whatever we touch, you know, we don't want to have anything creepy, shitty. Uh, <laughs> you know, everything yeah. must be like it has to be. You know, and and yeah, and this went um, until today very well. And I think it's a good philosophy, yeah. A lot of German companies uh, use this philosophy to have a, a plus in, in quality and have a plus in price, yeah, because, yeah, quality is not cheap, yeah. Right. And, and therefore also we, it's not only our own quality standards, we are also certified, we have a quality management system. Mm -hmm. We are certified uh, for the norm ISO 13485 for medical devices. So this is also uh, proved externally by a third party, by a so-called notified body, who comes every year for three, does four an days, does an inspection. Yeah, you have every process, every business process we have is documented and needs to be followed. Yeah, this is how you guarantee the quality on all levels. It's not only production, it's also on how you purchase, how you make an invoice, how you handle your online shop or whatever you are doing. Yeah, how you market it. Yeah, how you market it, you know, it always needs to, to follow the rules and uh, the rules and to have the right uh, standard. Well, I've noticed down there, like every single product is tested before it goes out there. 
A lot of yes. there's multiple stages where you know the crafties are plugged in and they're getting a, a draw test. Yeah. Yeah. Volcanoes, they call it the blow room. Yeah. Yeah. Where they, how long do they run for when they blow? Yeah, like uh, half an hour to forty-five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. The big, uh, the big thing is traceability. Yeah. If we get back uh, any product, when we can take a look to the serial number. Then with this server number, I can trace back the whole production line. I can see uh, when, uh, when the parts were purchased, who has it purchased, when they came in, how they were tested, who has built the different steps, how it, uh, the final control, how it went, how much uh, airflow went through. Uh, so I can go back to all the, all the steps and um, I can then have a good quality control. So if I should have any 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 weakness in the product, I can go back. I see, okay, uh, maybe there was uh, something we cannot detect it before, and we can we can fix it uh, uh, easily. You could pinpoint exactly where the problem went wrong. Yeah, you can. Yes, goes to the part, goes it to the person, goes it to whatever, yeah. you know, to the design. Sometimes, yeah, if you can put put out a new product. Of course, and you start and you ramp up uh, very fastly, like with the crafty and mighty. And of course, if there is the a little mistake, of course, you reproduce the mistake 10,000 times. So, yeah, don't want that. <laughs> you don't want that, yeah. yeah. And so, you want, if you get any, you want to know it uh, very fastly and you want to know in which, uh, in, in which uh, product line it, it, it maybe had people in. Now, are there certain reasons for the designs of your products? Like, um you know, some other vaporizers have removable batteries, which makes it easier to, you know, travel with multiple or just the design of them in general. Is there specific reasons behind this? Yeah, this of course the security reasons. Yeah, of course you always need to follow the norms. We are the only one who really are testing uh, or following a, a norms. Yeah, the, uh, is it a household device or a medical device? Both different norms, but we are following the norms, and the norms uh, gives you certain standards of um, of security measures you have to do. You know, and uh, replacement battery it's possible to do it. Yeah, but it makes uh, things a little bit bigger, a little bit more difficult, and. Um, we uh, decided to not to make it re, uh, replaceable. Yeah, for the crafty, there were some customers who, who want to have it. For the mighty, you have two batteries. Yes, you have a good portion of energy you you first need to to yeah. go through. Yeah. yeah, and so, but we decided for security reasons to say no. Um, we don't make it rechargeable, uh, replaceable, uh, rechargeable, of course, <laughs> replaceable, and. Uh, uh, and then so far we, we think it was it was a good uh, good decision. Now, um, just before we go for a walk around the building here, um, what's been your favorite memory about your time with the company? My favorite memory? Um, okay, uh, of course, one of the this building was I would say what was the. Of course, the top yeah. thing we have reached, you know, after all the different products we put out, the success we had, and then after uh, 16 years in business, so then we finished uh, this building, we moved in, we built this in, in record time. Uh, this building was very fast built, then we moved in. We have here a fully automatized uh, stock system, and it's worked uh, pretty smoothly after two or three weeks. And and so, uh, beginning of 2017, it was a let's say a very good feeling, having a good business, having good people here. You know, have this nice building. So this was like reaching a, a top and reaching like a, a level you always had maybe envisioned or dreamed of, yeah, but not really thought that it would come. Uh, uh, really, and then when you have it, and you are here, and you walk through, and you say, "Okay, hey, it's 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 done." It's uh, yeah, and it gives you an also like say new energy. You know, um, here we say that rooms uh, um, uh, rooms influence people. How in the room you work, in the in the environment you work, it influences your work. It influences how you <laughs> how you. It's a busy man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it, it, it influences um, how do you think and how do you work, you know, this, this, is, uh, this was also uh, important here that everybody who works here, who sees it also, you know, his work is more transparent, yeah, so, so yeah, so this I would say this was one of the, of the top things, yeah. Then we had of course a lot of other, 
other big events, of course, when the first, so the beginning with the, with the, with the classic, then we had the easy valve, it was the first improvement, uh, right. going, getting rid of the solid valve, then we got the dig, it was uh, important, then the plant deer yeah, was okay, then we got the certification to have the level of medical devices, then we got in the mobile sector, Crafty Mighty, uh, uh, two products at the same time, pinging on the market, was yeah. a big, uh, uh, a big event, a big splash, was very good. So the last uh, three, four years were a little bit more quiet uh, because uh, externally quiet because of the new building. So and now we are again working on the next projects that will come soon, going again into new directions and uh, again challenging, uh, challenging the marketplace with uh, high quality products. And the uh, secrecy around that here is very, very deep. So I'm very excited to find out exactly what these new uh, products are um, in the coming amount of time that is undisclosed. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, 2019 uh, should be an interesting year, yeah. Okay. Maybe even 2018, we don't know. Yeah, yeah we, are actually, we are close with, uh, with the projects, but yeah. At the end, before we bring it on the market, uh, first we don't like it to announce it. Before we, we don't sense. we don't really know that it is going to be, and uh, and if we are not satisfied with the quality, uh, then we don't bring it on the market. Then we say, okay, hey, that's that's not what we want. We wanted to have. There are still some improvements we have to do. This may delay uh, the project three months, six months, you know. And so this is this was also. Uh, uh, part of our philosophy to not announce things, you know, or maybe two weeks before we we know. Okay, we're going to ship and uh, yeah, see right. in production, and this uh, uh, we like to do. Yeah, of course, and this is why we don't talk too much about it. Okay, well, I, I really appreciate you doing this interview with me today, and uh, now we're going to go walk around um, a little bit of, around your building here, and this is uh, an interview that we're going to air live and uncut well not live but uh, uncut and then uh, later on next week you'll see the rest of the building so i hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for coming on thank you all right